I was born 41 years ago in Tanzania, although currently I am South African citizen, which I've been granted almost 15 years back. I'm here to present the topic of the short story of Imam Harun. Imam, Imam Abdullah Harun was born on the 8th of February 1924 in Cape Town, New Lands, Claremont. He was the youngest in the family of five. His mother died while he was still an infant. During his early years, he completed, he completed grade six at Talfala Primary School. For two, for two years, Imam Harun pursued Islamic studies in the holy city of Mecca, where he was taught by famous Sheikh Abdurrahman al Alawi al Makki. Upon his returning home in South Africa, Imam Harun continued his studies under Sheikh Abdullah Twaha Hamildin and Sheikh Ismail. Hanif. Those three mashaykh had an impact upon Imam Haruna's ideas and activities, particularly in the social welfare sector where he served to assist the poor and needy and he also began to teach and he was a member of MJC and also myself. I am a member of MJC as well. <laughs> and for those who don't know, MJC stands for, MJC stands for Muslim Judicial Council, not Michael Jackson Consent. <laughs> Is it clear? When he was official, when he was official appointed in 1955 as an Imam of Al Jamia Masjid, in Stechman Road in Clement. Many ideas, many ideas were implemented by Imam Abdullah Harun, including the idea of propagating Islam to black people of Cape Town, to African people of African townships. And there are some things forgotten here in South Africa. Just to take you a little bit further, uh, one of the greatest scholars from India, when he came in South Africa, and that's Mohan Abdul Halim Siddiqui. When he came here in South Africa in either 50s or, late, or earlier 60s, he said that for as long as Islam is not spreading to African people, that means Islam has not arrived yet in South Africa. According him, not according me, and I'm full support his opinion. That's what he said, Sheikh Abdul Halim Siddiqui from India, that for Islam, for as long as Islam is not penetrated, you know, as, as long as you so-called Indian and Malay, you are confining Islam in your area only. You don't want to share with African people. Then Islam has not yet arrived in South Africa. That's a honest, frankly speaking. His work to dawah to African people. Imam Abdullah Harun propagated Islam to many black people in Cape Town, in African townships, including Imam Dawood Lobby, the first black, black imam in Langa, in African community. And he is a father of Islam in Langa. He also accepted Islam under Imam, Abu, imam Abdullah Harun. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant Imam Harun Jannat Firdaus. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him his shortcomings. The other people who embraced Islam under Imam, under Imam Abdullah Harun was the founder uh, of Sheikh Ismail Kamane. Uh, some of you, you know Sheikh Ismail Kamane. His father, Mr. Ahmad Kamane, also embraced Islam from Imam Abdullah Harun. And his twin brother, Brother Yaqub Kamane, also embraced Islam from Imam, Imam Abdullah Harun. Another person, important person also, Brother Ali Handula. Brother Ali Andula also embraced Islam from Imam, from Imam Abdullah Harun, and then Brother Abdullah Handula is the one who gave dawah to my colleague in Masri Bilali, Imam Ismail Ngoyana. 
That means Mama Ismail Ngoyana, indirect, indirect, he is a product of, of Imam Abdullah Harun. Why? Because Imam Ismail Ngoyana accepted Islam from a person who took Islam from Imam Abdullah Harun. Therefore, Masri Bilal in Kailicha, where I am, is a product of, of Imam Abdullah Harun. Every job has got challenge. Uh, and if, be aware that Imam Ismail Ngoyana is the one who translated the Quran to the local language of Isik Awasa. There are many challenges whereby Imam Abdullah Harun faced. One of the challenges is that some racist Muslims here in Western Cape called him Imam of Kafiris or Imam of Blacks. Safrullah. I hope there is no racist person here. So those racist, racist people, they call him, he is an imam of kafiris or imam of blacks. Assisting MK and Abla to fight against oppressors. Imam Abdullah Harun, he opened the way to political parties which are fighting against oppression such as PAC, ANC, in order to obtain the military skills and firearm from Egypt and Libya. As a matter of fact, he was considered as a terrorist by the government of National Party. His death. After he returned home from overseas in trips in Saudi Arabia and Egypt, he was arrested by security force who tortured him severely. And Imam Abdullah Harun was held in, in communicado over four months which he had uh, no opportunity to see his wife and his children. Imam Abdullah Harun eventually he was made on the 27th September 1969. Although the, sec the security force of that time, of that time, they twisted his death report. They said that he fall in the staircase, but the matter of fact, he was tortured and killed by them. Basically, uh, briefly, this is a short story from Imam Harun, and for your reference, I have obtained this information from www.southafrican.sahistory.org slash people slash Imam Harun. Jazakumullah khaira for listening. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all goodness and khairat.